Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series. For API recommended practice 578. In this lecture, we will discuss the positive material identification methodology and technology of API RP 578 Part 2. In this lecture, we will discuss the sub-clauses 6.5 and 6.6. Chemical analysis techniques Laboratory chemical analysis Owner-user approved material analysis laboratories using X-ray emission spectrometry Optical emission spectrometry or wet chemical analysis the accuracy can provide the most accurate analytical results for all elements is typically much higher than is normally needed for positive material identification laboratory analysis may involve the removal of significant amounts of material and is typically slower than field positive material identification techniques. Chemical spot testing The chemical spot test is typically accomplished by electrochemically removing a minute amount of surface metal and depositing it onto moistened filter paper. Reagents dropped onto the paper produce distinct colors that are indicative of the presence of specific elements in the sample tested. Chemical spot testing is much slower than the other field PMI methods, and interpretation is subjective. Sorting analysis techniques Resistivity testing principle the principle employed in resistivity testing method is known as the Seebeck effect or thermoelectric principle. The metal is heated 300 degrees Fahrenheit and a voltage based on the material is generated. Every alloy of a given crystalline structure will generate the same voltage regardless of the geometry or size of the piece being tested or the pressure applied. Capability By references to known standards, these instruments are capable of sorting and identifying a wide range of ferrous and non-ferrous materials. Limitation Not always able to sort low alloy less than 5% chromium and austenitic stainless steels. Other techniques such as eddy current sorting, electromagnetic alloy sorting, triboelectric testing for example ferrite meters, and thermoelectric testing type of techniques are qualitative. Limitation may only be appropriate for limited sorting applications and not for specific alloy identification. Review questions Question number 1 Chemical spot testing Answer is D Question number 2 Chemical spot testing Answer is B Question number 3 the principle used with resistivity testing PMI tools is called the A 
Answer is D. Question number four. Which of following describes the principle of resistivity PMI testing? Answer is A. Question number 5. PMI tools that use resistivity testing are not always able to sort. Answer is C. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching, and please waiting us for next lecture.